Oh, got something on. So Hello everyone, this is Vikazi with you. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm trying the Tigek Orca, also known as Mavlos Oka. I paired with the, the Solo King Acura and I'm using a bigger lure than usual for this creek. It's a jerk weight because the last times I were I was here fish seem to be interested in jerk weights and I will try to grease this rod. Let's see if there's a huge chub in here right in front of me and another huge one but they were not interested in my lures because of the water clarity the lack of current i couldn't fool them very easily so i needed to swap places and go to the spot where i could trick the fish easily on biting my lure and that's what i did i went upstream changed my lure for a gobas one which is smaller has a wider cranking uh, action and this helped me and I went to a spot where I can hide myself behind a tree cast let the lure float a little bit pass the fish and then retrieve it trying to trigger some bites Oh, got something on. Something is on my lure. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a nice shove. Yes, first one. It's Kristen, the Tigek. Let's catch something. Twenty seven, twenty seven centimeter chub. I will not call that bad. By any means, uh, uh, some new tools just to help. And it really helps. This is a small uh, forceps that I got on AliExpress. It's a smaller version, but it helps because it gives me a lot more grip and a lot more control than the multi tool mainly because the multi-tool that you saw me using the blue one other than being very cheap it has a split ring adapter and that it's a crap to take out trebles and the other thing the forceps helped me do maybe you didn't see in the video it's to take out the snaps from the micro jigs and from the lures the snaps that i use are very small and very difficult to handle thank you buddy see you next time So, nice way to start the day. I'm probably 15 minutes, 20 minutes in my session already with the fish. I gave it 20 more minutes, but then I quit. And this was the day that I let my net fell on the water when I was trying the Mifine Motrol draw. I will maybe probably put the clip in here now that I'm editing it just so you to see me screaming. Ah, 
Jesus! Uh, it's not that cool. Continuing on, my first impressions on the road, it's well balanced with a solo King Akira, it's not fast action, it's moderate fast at best, the grip, it's better than I thought, I didn't miss the cork or EVA foam, and on the 40 minutes I fish with it, I didn't see the benefits of the taper. Don't get me wrong, I felt the cranking, the bite and handled the fish very well, but I need more time in the water and smaller fish to make the final judgment. But overall, it's a very good purchase at the $30 price point, even a little bit higher. And you have to consider that this rod is gorgeous and very well put together for the price point. But these were my first impressions of the rod and I will keep testing it during the spring and hopefully the summer. Everything will be linked below and if you like the video please share, like and subscribe to help me grow and test more gear for you guys. I see you on my next video. Bye!